Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am going to be playing with the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Skin Tint Blur and Concealer. Really excited for this one. I actually received this like maybe like a week ago or a week and a half ago, but our whole house fell under COVID and I had to take care of my patients. As my friend said, she asked how my patients were doing. Had to take care of everyone. I ended up getting it and we were on our last leg of it. So if I seem a little tired, look tired or stumble over my words, that is why. So anyway, but before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I do have the products here. I'm so excited to try them. I did watch the video that Jacqueline had put out on these two products here. So I'm just gonna kind of get into it a little bit, what the both of them claim, what shades I have. It's not gonna be a wear test because this does not claim to be long wear or anything like that. I'm just gonna do a first impressions and see that how that goes from there. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint. This retails for $34. This is one fluid ounce. It is a tinted moisturizer. It is not a foundation, but it does give you a sheer coverage She said you can use this as a primer as well if you want to which I would think you know after watching her put it on It did look really dewy. So I think that would be really good for us dry skin babes It is a natural finish it blurs texture Enhances the look of your skin for that just woke up glow. This is available in 12 shades And I did see these shade names on here. I was like, oh my god, thank god god that it is something that we can all relate to the shade that i got is in light i'm not sure I, I it was really hard for me to pick out shades again it's always really hard for me to pick out shades but it is what it is it is light with neutral yellow undertones from what her video said you can use a sponge you can use a brush if you like but this particular product is supposed to be used with your hands so my hands are clean and we're gonna go ahead and apply it that way packaging is really simple the component is plastic plastic and this is a pump i really do love the packaging on here i do love that it is a gradient however the only thing that i don't really like about it is that you can't really see the true color of it so i don't know if this is gonna match me or not but we will go ahead and see i am gonna go ahead and pump this on the back of my hand so you guys can see this is a very thick consistency it is not moving at all when i had seen people apply this they were like this is thick as hell like this is super thick i don't know if you guys can see that but it is very thick here goes nothing all right this consistency is really thick i mean i was kind of expecting it but not really this color is really light there is it's definitely a light coverage so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of this i'm gonna grab a little bit more and i'm gonna apply it like i would as say it, if it was a moisturizer i'm gonna do two more pumps and there's that that is definitely yellow you can definitely tell that that is a more of like a yellow tint oh my god i may have put too much on <laughs> oh my god oh it has a very light scent to it. I look crazy right now, you guys. Um, This has a very light scent to it. The scent is very floral, but it is a muted floral. And it's actually one that I I quite like. I don't know if it's like lily or something like that, but it's it's something to that effect. Um, It does smell really nice, though. I do really like it. Okay, so this is very thick, you guys. It is a very thick thick skin skin tint blur moisturizer whatever you want to call it the color's too light for me um i should have gone i mean i typically do light and i feel like i probably should have done like light medium or medium because this is way too light for me yeah the consistency is not like any other like tinted moisturizer that i've ever felt before but this color is like way too light for me i look like freaking casper right now and so far it is going on really really well with just my hands but i just can't get over the color the color is so light after applying this right now it does feel really sticky it's tacky the texture feels like a sunscreen it still has that fragrance to it the fragrance hasn't gone away it did give a light coverage like it 
had claimed. My skin does look a little moisturized. It does have a little bit of a glow. Not too bad. I just don't like the color and it's really sticky. It does look very glowy on the skin. It's like not really accentuating anything. It is definitely blurring where it needs to blur. My problem area I would say is like just a tiny tiny bit like right through here. There's an area right in here and like an area right in here and then this area where it's like the tint is sitting on top of the skin. So like I said, so far it's just, it's not, it's not what I thought it would be. I'm glad I kept the receipt though. If I were to get maybe like a darker color, I think that I would probably like it better. The next product that I have is the concealer. This is the Faux Filler Perfecting Concealer. This retails for $26 and I have the shade Light Yellow. It says here that this is lightweight, it is buildable, it gets rid of your under eye circles, your dark spots. It is a medium to full coverage matte concealer, which I didn't read that on here in that may not work out well for me but we will go ahead and see. And it is available in 35 shades. So again, it does come in shade names like Fairest, Fair, Light Yellow, Light, Medium, all that stuff. It does have a doe foot applicator. It does kind of look like the Dose of Colors packaging. This is a little longer though. I do really like the packaging of this. This has no scent to it, and this is the shade. I am gonna go ahead and do it on one side first because I have seen other people try this out and it looked like it dried down really fast to the point where it wasn't moving around anywhere. I'm gonna do a little bit right here. Okay, this looks yellow. And a tiny bit here. I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. brush because I don't have my, my sponges not wet right now. And we're gonna go ahead and buff this in. Okay, so far so good. So as you can tell, a little does go a long way with this. As of right now, the concealer is darker than the skin tint that I'm wearing and I am not liking that. I feel like this whole video is gonna be of me complaining when I'm like really trying not to. I try to make everything work. The concealer is definitely matte. It does look really good so far under the under eyes. You guys already know that with my under eyes, I have issues with it. I've got a little bit of texture underneath my eyes from just aging and all that stuff. And like I said right now, it does look really good. It doesn't look super dry. It's not creasing up either. Usually around this time when I do put concealer on, the concealer typically does kind of gather in my creases that I've always had. So yeah, so far it's really good. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side okay so it does blend out really fast and easy but like I said on the other eye a little bit does go a long way you don't need a lot of this product so there's the concealer I think the concealer looks great I think it looks a lot better than the blurring tint it, I mean surprisingly it does look really good I wasn't expecting that because anything that is going to be a matte consistency never works really well for my under eye area so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my makeup and then I will go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on the blurring tint and the concealer and I'll go ahead and let you guys know how these did with products over top. I'll be back in a second. All right guys, so I'm back. I have my makeup on, everything is done. That was really quick and easy. And I did put on a foundation over this. I did go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, which I absolutely really love. Not a lot of people like it though. I typically like things that not a lot of people like. It is so weird to me. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into my final thoughts about the two products that I did try out from Jaclyn Cosmetics. The Skin Perfecting Blurring Skin Tint. This was not my favorite. I have to be honest with you guys. I know, I know a lot of people love this. I've seen so many reviews on it, but for me personally, it just didn't work out for me. The color was off. It looked like it was sitting on top of my dry patches. Mind you, I did do all my skincare. I had shaved early on in the week. I don't really have a lot of texture either. I don't have a lot of wrinkles yet. Um, I do have some fine lines. Usually foundations, tinted moisturizers, serums all work out on my skin. 
usually, but for some reason, this just didn't work on my skin the way that I wanted it to. Maybe if I do go a shade darker, it may work out. With applying this product, you should be using your hands because it is pretty much, it's a skin tint, it's a moisturizer pretty much. It's supposed to give you just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of coverage and blur the skin, which honestly, it really did blur my skin. I really did love that about this product here. The texture though is really weird. It's balmy, but sunscreen like it kind of tugs at the skin a little bit and when I do exchange it for a darker color I'm gonna use a brush next time because using my hand just it just no, my hands are still kind of like greasy from it I do have to say though that using this as a primer I feel like works a lot better than just using it as like a skin tint because after putting it on your face it does stay really sticky but when you do put a foundation over top, my skin does look really blurred and it does look really beautiful and hydrated. So like I said, it's not my favorite. It's not something that I'm gonna grab for every single time I do my makeup, but I do enjoy some aspects of it. I enjoy it enough to get a darker shade to make it work because I do love Jaclyn. I have watched her for so long. I've been a, a supporter for so long now. The one product that I loved out of the both of these two is 100% the concealer. I was not expecting to love the concealer at all. Again, I had seen Michaela on TikTok review this and it had dried down so fast on her that she wasn't able to blend it out and it kind of just stuck in one spot. But because I had seen that, I started out with one side first, blended everything out, used minimal product, and my under eyes look really good. I don't see any under eye circles. It is not catching on like my texture or lines underneath my eyes. It is not building up in my creases, which is a really big deal to me because I have issues with that. I've always had issues with that and I can't find a concealer that doesn't get all bunched up in my creases. I didn't think I would say this, but like an influencer's brand, like it, it, an influencer's brand and it's not creasing at all. I think the trick with this concealer is to use a minimal amount. Use the amount that you only need. Do not go overboard with it because if you do, then you will start to get the creasing and all that stuff. Really enjoyed the concealer. That's so weird. Like I always say this, but I always love things that other people don't like. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my review. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else you guys do wanna see, please let me know in the comment section and down below. Let me know if you guys have tried this, what you guys think of both of the products, um, how you guys made this guy work here. I'm wondering that if I were to use my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath it, that it wouldn't be so stiff, I guess you can say. I'd love to know your guys' opinion on it. So anyways, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. We're done, we're done.